I'm Dr. Farid Garagoslu. Today, I'd like to speak to you about thoracic outlet syndrome. At the end of this video, I would like you to know the cause of this disease, the best way to make the diagnosis of thoracic outlet syndrome, and the most modern approach to the treatment of this disease. One of the problems has been that thoracic outlet syndrome has not been seen in its entirety because it presents in three different ways. And depending on how it presents, different physicians are involved in the care of the patients. One presentation of this disease is what's called neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome. Patients who have neurogenic thoracic outlet syndrome present with pain. They present with paresthesias, which means tingling in their hands. If you speak to those patients, they will say, you know, my arm feels like my leg when it falls asleep. Let's talk about the second group of patients. Now these patients present with swelling of their arm and cyanosis, which is blueness of their extremity. And the third group of patients, which really are only in 1% of the patients with TOS, are people who have arterial problems with the arteries that go to their arm. The problem with thoracic outlet syndrome has been that we have felt that the nerve, the artery, and the vein have to be compressed by something. As time has gone on and we have understood this disease, we have made a few observations which have led us to what we call the ischemic hypothesis of thoracic outlet syndrome. What ischemic means is lack of blood flow. To understand our modern concepts of thoracic outlet syndrome, we need to look at the anatomy of what's called the thoracic outlet. The thoracic outlet is in the area of the shoulder. It's between your clavicle and the first rib. The first rib and the clavicle come together to join the sternum. In this space, you will have the subclavian vein as it comes into the chest and the subclavian artery as it exits the chest. Your first rib has a little trough where the vein sits and that basically gives the space for the vein to sit in. And it turns out that that area is abnormal in patients who have thoracic outlet syndrome. They have a tubercle. Instead of a trough, they have like a little hill on that bone. That area forms a joint with your clavicle and the structures in between get basically locked into that structure. The important point is, Thoracic outlet syndrome is caused by a congenital abnormality of the head of the first rib, which compresses the vein and causes ischemia or lack of blood flow. The next question is, how do we make the diagnosis? The patients get an MR study. During that study, the arm is elevated over the shoulder and we can clearly see the compression of the vein and the abnormality of the bone. This diagnostic technique is accurate every time in making the diagnosis of thoracic outlet syndrome. Now, we have the cause, we have the diagnostic technique. The next point is the therapy. And therapy, of course, becomes very simple by removing what we call the offending portion of the first rib, where the disease is, you will relieve the pressure on the vein and, and the patient's symptoms will improve. The problem is that getting to that area of the first rib has been very difficult from the outside. This is again about a one inch piece of bone which is right under the sternum as the bone meets the sternum. Historically, we have come from above the clavicle or from under the armpit. These approaches have allowed us to remove the first rib but not the offending portion of the first rib. The only way that this can be done is from inside the chest. This is where robotics comes in. It allows us to enter the chest with three little holes, which are less than an inch each. The camera is three-dimensional, high resolution, magnified. So you can see so much better. And in surgery, if you can see better, you can do better. The surgery is highly accurate, and as a result, highly effective. In our experience, every single time a patient is diagnosed with TOS based on the MRA study, when they have removal of the bone, they will have relief of their symptoms. I hope that you have found this video helpful. Uh, we would be delighted to help you. 
if you feel that you have this disease or have been diagnosed with this condition. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to being able to help you in the future.